you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. That's the signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I thought that uh, intro was appropriate because, um, well, number one, I'm uh, showing you uh, an installation that I just finished up with, and this is the new Manjaro 1512, the latest update as of January 5th, and this is the XFCE desktop. Now, as you can see, I've got everything set up the way I normally set everything up, and I'm using a theme called Blue Fear, and I'm using the vertex icons. I've got everything set up just the way I like it. I've got Battle.net, Steam, uh, War Thunder. I've got my streaming on Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Hulu. Up in the system tray, I have a weather, as you can see. Uh, caffeine. I've got Clip It. I've got P Sensor, Redshift. Synapse, uh, everything's working beautifully. I've got Plank at the bottom, uh, and everything's working fine. Now, uh, what, I, what I'm what i going to do from now on, I've got two um, hard drives, SSDs, that I can devote to distributions in each of my computers. Um, I've got one for data and two others for the actual operating systems. And so I'm going to keep one uh, hard drive dedicated to my daily driver, which is going to be Manjaro XFCE. Um, and the reason I'm going with Manjaro as my daily driver is because everything just works. Um, if you're coming from Ubuntu, it's not difficult to make the transition. Some of the commands are a little different, but you get used to it in no time. And you get away from the PPAs and things like that. So I'm going to run uh, one disk totally dedicated to Manjaro XFCE. The other disk, I'm going to continue to do um, reviews, distribution reviews. And of course, if I come across something that uh, I really like then I will keep it on that second disk and use it on an ongoing basis um, just to continually test and stay up to date with what's happening within Ubuntu and within Debian and so that's the strategy um, I have uh, right now now the reason I pulled in that uh, Twilight Zone clip and I've got the Twilight Zone desktop with good old Rod Serling. Uh, Twilight Zone has to be one of my favorite TV uh, series of all time. Um, so the reason I brought that up is I was thinking about um, why do people use Linux? And Linux users are probably stuck in a little bit of a Twilight Zone between Windows users and Mac users. And so the question is, why do you use Linux? Now, I came across something online. I, I can't take credit for it, um, but I thought it was very, very interesting. And I'm going to pull that up for you. It's actually in my photos. And I came across this online. There it is. Okay, I came across this online and I thought it was uh, appropriate because basically it's one person's uh, feelings about why they use Linux. And I thought I'd run this by you guys just to get some input from you guys. So if you could just leave a comment down below telling me whether you agree or disagree with this statement. So this person decided to 
explain why they use Linux, and I thought their comments were extremely interesting, and I'll go ahead and read it for you. We tell people we use Linux because it's secure, or because it's free, or because it's customizable, or because it's free in the other meaning, as in money, and because it has excellent community support. But all of that is just marketing bullshit. We tell that to non-Linuxers because they wouldn't understand the real reason. And when we say those false reasons enough, we might even start to believe them ourselves. But deep underneath, the, the real reason remains. We use Linux because it's fun. It's fun to tinker with your system. It's fun to change all the settings break the system, then have to go to recovery mode to repair it. It's fun to have over a hundred distros to choose from, and it's fun to use the command line. No wonder non-Linuxers wouldn't understand. The point with Linux fans is we use Linux for its own sake. Sure, we like to get work done. Sure, we'd like to be sec secure from viruses. Sure, we like to save money, but those are only the side effects. What we really like is playing with the system, poking around, and discovering fascinating facts about the software that lies beneath it. Now that uh, gives us something to think about. Uh, I think that Aside from this comment about breaking the system and having to go to recovery mode to repair it, that to me is not fun. But everything else, tinkering, changing the settings, a hundred distros, using the command line, that's all, those are all things that I can relate to. A lot of people are afraid of the command line, but when they first use it, the first time they use it and they actually see that it works, it's amazing. And they feel a sense of accomplishment. And I think that's one of the most important things about Linux is that no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are, no matter, no matter anything, when you start to use it and you start to figure it out it's a whole lot of fun and so and that's why I, that's why I use it because I love learning something new I like making things work I like the sense of accomplishment that I get when I figure out a problem and I come up with a resolution and I like doing the research. I like installing distributions. I like seeing what they look like, all of the different themes and icons and wallpapers and, and all the different programs that are available. I enjoy Linux because I do like to tinker with the system. So I appreciate getting some feedback from you guys. What do you guys think? Why do you use Linux? Is it just for an operating system? Or do you get a little more out of it than that? Uh, so guys, I am, as I said, I am very happy to have my Manjaro XFCE running. Uh, everything works well right out of the box. Um, and that's what I like about it. I don't have to worry about tweaking, debugging, solving all of the drivers are there, uh, whether it be NVIDIA or Broadcom, everything is there. So uh, guys, the main uh, reason for this video was to find out why you use Linux and whether you agree with the uh, statements that I made uh, from the person who uh, put their opinions online. So guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.